Hello dear students once again welcome in the MSBT is e content of environmental studies it is MSBT e lead study at your doorstep i am swati ingre course expert lecturer nit polytechnic nagpur in today's video we are going to discuss the topic biodiversity from unit 3 ecosystem and biodiversity course outcome conserve ecosystem and biodiversity unit outcome enlist the endangered species learning objective after viewing this video students will able to understand the importance of biodiversity from concept map you will understand the content of today's video today we are going to cover threats to the biodiversity hotspots of biodiversity different endangered species and conservation of biodiversity so let us begin with the threats to the biodiversity biodiversity is under serious threat as a result of human activities from picture you can understand causes of biodiversity losses there are four major causes called as the evil quartet of biodiversity losses these are habitat loss and fragmentation over exploitation alien species invasion and co extinction it is a very very serious matter so let us understand one by one first is the habitat loss and fragmentation the tropical rainforest once covering 14% of the land surface of earth but now they cover only 6% of the land area the amazon rainforest called as the lungs of the planet are cleared for cultivation of soya bean or are converted into grassland for raising the beef cattle the loss of a habitat deprives many animals and plants their homes and they face extinction degradation of many habitat by pollution threatens the survival of many species the second cause is over exploitation when need turns to greed it leads to over exploitation of natural resources many species becomes extinct for example stellar sea cow passenger pigeon many marine fishes become extinct due to over exploitation by humans the third cause is alien species invasion let us understand when alien species are introduced in an area some of them becomes invasive and many causes extinction of indigenous species for example introduction of nile perch into lake victoria east africa cause extinction of many species of killed fish in lake invasive weed species such as parthenium that is carrot grass fourth factor is co extinction when a species becomes extinct the plant and animal species associated with it become extinct too for example when a host fish becomes extinct its unique parasite also become extinct similarly when one partner of a co evolved polydactyl mutualism become extinct the other partner also have the same fate now we will see the hotspots of biodiversity first we will understand what is hotspot of biodiversity a biodiversity hotspot is a biogeographic region that is both a significant reservoir of biodiversity and is threatened with destruction large region containing exceptional concentration of plants and animals and experiencing the high rate of habitat loss means it is with abundance of animals and plant but at the same time it is in danger also such type of region is called as hotspot of biodiversity now we will see the biodiversity hotspots in india there are three major hotspots the first is western ghat and sri lanka the first is western ghats and sri lanka the second is himalaya and third is indo burma first western ghat and sri lanka from this figure you can understand this red portion is the western ghat and this region is sri lanka the western ghats known locally as the sahyadri hills run parallel to the india's western coast about 30 to 50 km inland they cover an area about 160000 square kilometer and stretch for 1600 kilometer from gujarat to south tip it is habitat for variety of mammals reptiles birds and plants 
like purple moorhen it is bison and it is example nilgiri thar then second hot spot of biodiversity is himalaya it is the himalayan region let us see include the entire indian himalayan region and that fall in pakistan tibet nepal bhutan china and myanmar the hot spot is home to important population of numerous large birds and mammals including vultures tigers elephants rhinos and wild water buffaloes for example tiger it is rhino then these are vultures these all are found in the himalayan region in abundance the third important region is indo burma this is the indo burma region from figure you can understand encompassing more than 2 million km square of tropical asia indo burma is still revealing its biological treasure six large mammal species have been discovered in the last 12 years this hot spot also holds remarkable endemism in freshwater turtle species bird life in indo burma is also incredibly diverse holding almost 1300 different bird species like spot billed pelican it is saula and it is the pangolin these animals and birds found in the indo burma region now let us understand what is endangered species the organisms whose number have declined rapidly and species might be wiped off from the earth in your future is called as endangered species in short we can say that the number is continuously declined and one day will come when there will be no existence of such type of species and such species are called as endangered species The World Wildlife Federation which is also called as WWF publish a book containing the details of endangered and threatened species of flora and fauna here flora means the plants and fauna means the animals called as a red data book or red list book The red data book symbolizes a warning signal for those species which are endangered and have to be protected otherwise they are likely to become extinct in the near future then let us see the list of endangered species of india in animals the asiatic lion bengal tiger snow leopard black buck red panda one horned rhinoceros the nilgiri thar kashmiri red stag which is also called as hangul lion tailed macaque and indian bison these all animals are in the list of endangered species in birds the great indian bustard the red headed vulture forest owlet spoon billed sand piper jordan courser bengal florican white billed heron himalayan quail sociable lapwing and siberian crane these all birds are also in the list of endangered species in india then plants are also endangered and these are assam catkin catkin yew ilex khasina red sandalwood ebony musli actinodaphne lawson etc we have to protect all of those then now it is the need of conservation of biodiversity there are two approaches for conservation of biodiversity the first is in situ conservation which is also known as on site conservation and second is ex situ conservation means off site conservation from its examples you can understand the meaning of in situ and ex situ that is conservation of biodiversity have the two approach in situ conservation and ex situ conservation actually in situ conservation means the animals or plants have to preserve in the natural environment the examples are reservoirs the national parks the wildlife sanctuaries and sacred groves means these all plants and animals are protected in the natural environment then 
second is ex situ conservation ex situ conservation means it is the artificial creation of such type of environment and then keeping the animal or growing the plants in that environment for example botanical gardens zoological parks seed banks gene banks these all are the examples of ex situ conservation then in situ conservation or on site conservation first is biosphere reserves these are large tracts of protected land with multiple use preserving the genetic diversity of representative ecosystem by protecting wildlife traditional lifestyle of the tribals and variety plant and animal genetic resources the national parks these are areas reserved for wildlife where they are able to obtain all the required natural resources and proper habitat wildlife sanctuaries these are the tract of land with or without lake where animals are protected from all types of exploitation and habitat disturbance and sacred groves these are the tracts of forest set aside where all the trees and wildlife within are venerated and given the total protection it is called as in situ conservation on site conservation or in the natural environment conservation then ex situ conservation the botanical gardens botanical gardens is a place where plants especially the ferns conifers and flowering plants are grown and displayed for the purpose of research and education the zoological parks the place where wild animals and in some instances domesticated animals are exhibited in captivity in such an establishment animals can generally be given more intensive care than possible in the nature reserve for the centuries the seed banks a seed bank is a bank where seeds of different crops and rare plant species are stored for future use the seed bank are created to maintain and protect the biodiversity where samples of all species are collected and stored the gene bank gene banks are the type of bio re re repository which preserves the genetic material for plants this is done by in vitro storage freezing cutting from the plant or stocking the seeds and for animals this is done by freezing the sperms and eggs in zoological freezers until the further need various laws for conservation of biodiversity it is also very very important the concept of conservation of biodiversity is enshrined in the indian constitution in article 48a and 51a g the major central acts relevant to the biodiversity are the indian forest act 1927 the wildlife protection act 1972 the forest conservation act 1980 the environment protection act 1986 the biological diversity act 2002 the scheduled tribe and other forest dweller recognition of forest right act 2006 international efforts for biodiversity conservation it is not a personal matter or it is not the matter of nation it is a global matter so it is the responsibility of each and every one and hence we have to see the international effort the earth summit it was the historic convention of biological diversity held in rio de janeiro in 1992 it called upon all the nations to take appropriate measures of conservation of biodiversity and sustainable utilization of the benefits of biodiversity the world summit it has it was held in 2002 in johannesburg south africa it is the commitment to activate a significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity loss at global regional and local level by 2010 these all are the references for the today's video content now what are the key takeaways about the biodiversity biodiversity adds a flavor in healthy environment hence its conservation is a global need let us see the summary what we learned today today we have studied the threats to the biodiversity hotspots of biodiversity list of endangered species conservation of biodiversity and at last thank you all have a nice day keep learning happy learning now let's have a 